This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's have some fun with gradients. So let's give ourselves a nice new document to play in. I'm going to use my standard. Give yourself anything you want to make it look nice and fill the screen. Let's pick up our rectangle tool and our star tool. Let's start by making a star. Say right about here, maybe. Nothing special, just make a star. And we'll go ahead and make a rectangle right below it. Now, rectangle or square, that's up to you. I'm not going to be too picky about that. Let's pick up our selection tool up here. I'll select this one first, expand out my panels by clicking this button right there. And let's go ahead and give the star a color, or a fill, I should say. And let's select our square down here and do the same thing. Make sure you have the fill up here as the active area. And so we got two colors. I want to work with gradients here. So let's start by applying a gradient to one of these objects. Understand that you have a button right here that will do it. If this is the first time you've done anything in this operating session with Adobe Illustrator and it's a brand new document, you're going to get the standard white to black linear gradient. However, if you have been working with gradients in this particular image, then whatever is the last one you use would be down here. Let's drag out our gradient panel. Lots of fun little things to do in here. And I am in the Essentials workspace, so if you don't see gradient panel, go up to the word window. Up here we have a linear or a radial option. We'll leave it at linear for now. You've got a button right here which allows you some of the defaults that come with Illustrator. But to be honest with you, the most fun ones are probably the ones you make yourself. So we'll leave that one alone for now. We can control stroke or fill and understand that gradients can be applied to a stroke. We'll talk about that in a minute. We have a standard linear gradient going from left to right. Here's my color stops, there's white, and there's black. If I change this number, I can go to a different angle. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. No big deal there. Let's go ahead and take that back to zero. But you do have a tool that can help you out here. And it's right here. It's called a gradient tool. If I select it, I get all the stuff right here. I don't even have to have this open if I don't want to. If I come here, here is my color stop for white. And there's the one for black over here. I can do a lot of control exactly here with that one tool. But let's stick to our panel for now. Let's go ahead and turn that off for a second. Okay, what's left? Well, on a linear, you don't have very many more options in terms of what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and change that into a radial. Now, a radial, again, the default, since we used a black to white, is going to be a radial. That's center white going out to black from here to here. Let's say that we don't like the color black. We want a different color. Now there's two ways that you can do this. If I come over into my swatches panel, if I double click on a color and drag it, I can drop it right on there and change it. And of course, if you have something selected, it will change it for you right there. But the easier way in, well, it depends on what you're doing really. I find the easier ways to do it this way. If I click this color stop right here and I hold on the alt key, I can then click on any color I want and it will automatically change it. And I can keep coming over here and trying different colors. As long as I'm holding down the Alt key, I don't have to drag anything. I just have to make sure the crayon, I call them crayons, the gradient slider, that stop, is selected. And then I can hold the Alt key and do that. And that to me is kind of a better way to do it. But it's just a choice. Either way is yours. Over here, we have some different options though, since we have a radio. If I come down here, we have what's called aspect ratio. Now, if I change that pretty dramatically so you can see this, it changes the aspect ratio of that circle, makes it more oval, if you will. And the more you do that, the more, I don't know, interesting, I suppose, it becomes. Let's take that back into 100%. And you have another one that I really do like called opacity. Now, location, that's just where the slider is right here, just where that gradient slider is. If I move it, you can see it change. If you want to do it by the numbers, you can do that by the numbers. But I like opacity. I find that one really interesting 
For example, if I take this gradient slider here, which is our kind of orange yellow, and I take the opacity down to zero, well, it goes through to the background. Now, let me go ahead and make sure. I'm going to click this guy. I'm going to go to Object and make sure that Arrange that he's on top. Bring to front. If I move it over here, as you can see, it's actually showing through whatever is underneath it. And you can use that type of opacity to create some really interesting vignettes for other items. Now, you can apply gradients to fills or you can apply them to strokes. So let me show you something here. Here's our rectangle. I'm going to bring it up here. Let's make the thickness of the stroke. I can do it right here, a little bit thicker. Maybe something like that. Now I'm going to get rid of the fill. So I'm going to select it over here and I can click the None button right here. That'll be easy. Just click that button right there. So we have a stroke without a fill. Now let's go ahead and select basically the stroke, controlling the stroke. And let's come over here into Type and go into Linear. And you see it'll give us that blue because that's the last thing we used. Now I'm going to change that into a 90, like this. Now the blue is the stroke. I can change it to any color I want. This one, remember, is transparent because we use that over here. So we're all set up really to do something pretty cool. If I move this over a little bit more this way, look what happens. You're creating a stroke that slowly goes away. Again, an interesting creative effect in Adobe Illustrator. It wasn't that many versions ago that we got transparency, and I'm very glad that we did. Now you like what you did, and you want to keep this thing. Well, if you want to keep it, it's very easy. You can pick it up here, and you can drag it over into your swatches, and there it is. So if you like what you did, you can save it. Gradients are fun to work with, but some of the newer features, like transparency, actually make them to me a lot more valuable than they ever were. On to the next.